Canadians. Every piece of equipment here has come from some other place. The cable now being here it is, here it is, here it is, there it is. There it is. 17 minutes, 36 seconds, and up, up, up. Giannis, soon to be reunited with his wife. A hug with the president. Okay. Three down, three up. You can imagine a little bit of the anxiety. A lot of the uh, the wives were telling me earlier that. Uh, they're anxious, they're nervous, and they know that there are going to be a lot of changes in their lives going forward from this very moment. And she's looking on in anticipation. And, uh, you know, many of them said that they, they recognize that there is going to be a lot of stress, a lot of nerves. Look but at that. Uh, Look at that smile. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. A lot of emotion. You could see tears in her eyes there. Fifty-two-year-old Juan Ianis making his way out of the Phoenix. His smiling wife Carmen standing by to greet him. It's amazing in the body language what you see. Uh, just the excitement, the anticipation. It, it's almost as if they can't take it one more second. You can, you can see. Uh, how much emotion is about to burst out of them, and and we were watching uh, uh, Juan Ianes's wife. There she is. She's just looking and and a little seems a little bit anxious and excited, and and the smiles. And they look great. Look look at look what look at, uh, they're clean shaven. They're uh, they've lost a little bit of weight on average, about uh, 17 to 20 pounds. Uh, probably in the best shape of their lives, some of them because. Yeah. Uh, Oh, did you see that think, big uh, sigh? His wife has been, they, yeah, big yeah. sigh of relief. She's and you know she wants to get in there and days. hug him, but she's. Uh, <laughs> they're making sure they uh, they take everything off of him first before they get the go ahead and say, "All right, <laughs> let your uh, reunion happen here." There you go. There's the hug that they've been oh, waiting for. There we go. Oh, I bet that never felt as good as it does right now. Uh, that applause is so deserved. Look at that. And look at him. He's excited. Look at that. There, a hug with the president, Sebastian Minye Pinera. There is such a, um, a bond that has formed between the miners and all of the rescue team. This has been a, a labor of love and a labor, a sacrifice for all of them. No one has really had a good night's sleep since this happened 70 days ago. And all have been committed to seeing this very day come to fruition. It's interesting how a, uh, a crisis and now a triumph can unite a country. First, the crisis uh, as well of the earthquake earlier this year here, um, an 8.8 .8 earthquake and uh, very catastrophic in the southern part of Chile. And Sebastián Piñera then the, uh, was then uh, elected into office as the president. and. Um, then to have this happen, and um, you see a lot of the men giving the president big embraces, First and it's lady. really been sort of a, a moment in his presidency that uh, they say will be truly has truly moved the nation. I wonder whether he's going to spend all night out here for these 33 hours or what, because uh, we've sort of settled into our positions here now with, uh, <laughs> if George wants to pull out here, we've sort of settled into our positions where it's cold and we've got uh, some blankets. A long night there. ahead. Exactly. <laughs> we're exactly. like kids at a movie right now. <laughs> yeah, it's the drive-in theater. We're watching the movie here, Chris. <laughs> in the back of the car in New England at the drive-in theater. So up next is going to be Carlos Mama Mama. Mama Mamani. He's a there Bolivian. 23 years old. He's the only Bolivian. 33 minors, one Bolivian. And uh, he has uh, made his way here for economic reasons. Uh, and uh, in, in many ways, his role here 
unbeknownst to him, has drawn two nations that at times have not gotten along particularly well as they dispute some borderland that uh, mm -hmm. Chile claims and controls and thus cuts Bolivia off from the Pacific Ocean. But Evo, Evo Morales, the president, uh, who's very far to the left, and uh, the president, uh, Pineda, which is to the right, are in this crisis together. And uh, President Morales from Bolivia is expected tomorrow to be at the hospital so that when uh, Carlos comes up uh, and gets over to the hospital, the president will be able to greet him over there. And, and an, interesting, uh, an interesting point here is uh, Carlos Mama, Mamani, who will be the fourth uh, minor to be brought up in the capsule actually just started working in the mine five days before this accident. So if you can imagine that your first five days on the job to have something like this happen and uh, immediately then to be part of this brotherhood and, and to be bonded in this way with all of those men down there. But uh, I don't think any of them plan to return to mining, and they certainly won't have to after this. No, uh, they shouldn't have to. They, they shouldn't, shouldn't have, have to. to. Many of them have been offered jobs very safe and secure. Actually, in fact, all of them have been offered jobs, um, in, whether it's outside of the mining industry or within the mining industry, but as managers of some level. Um, but you can see uh, some of them are uh, all of the national heroes. A lot of celebrating uh, going on here in our, in our Camp Hope Plaza. Celebrating around the world yeah. as uh, more than a billion people have watched some of the coverage tonight. Well, people uh, tuning in it because, uh, you know, it, the real question was would this work? And as we see now, three down, three up, on our way to get the fourth shortly, uh, it appears that uh, it does work. And it's working just as they planned at two hours, 54 minutes, and 51 seconds into it. Uh, it looks like. It looks like everything is going to go just as they hoped. And I'll tell you what, if I'm doing my calculations, this is not going to take 48 hours. No, it's... Uh, I it, was going to say not to overstate ahead, this, but you, you were talking about the, the, the sort of new relationship that's been forged here because of uh, Carlos Mamani between Bolivia and Chile, two countries uh, that have been at odds, and the fact that the world really is watching. And, and I was struck by an interview with one of the miners' wives, and, and I know that both of you have spent a lot of time with the families, and she talked about the struggle it was, obviously, in those first 17 days when they were praying and hoping against hope that their loved ones would still be alive, and then the anxious wait to see what would be done to rescue them. But there's a quote uh, from, from uh, the wife of uh, one of the miners, uh, Gomez, who I think is three or four down, Mario Gomez. He's, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, after Carlos Mamani. And she said, God put these 33 miners together. It must have been for something, perhaps to send a message to the world. And I'm wondering if in your conversation with the families, and particularly these wives, you sort of got that sense that they feel that there's some greater purpose that's going to be served for what obviously has been a very difficult 70 days for the miners and for their families. Chris, uh, in fact, uh, I interviewed Lilianette Ramirez, is the wife of Mario Gomez, and sh that she was the one who uh, who told me that very quote, as you mentioned. And she, she, you know, this is an extremely religious country, and uh, as we've talked about, the faith that has kept them all together here, and they've formed, even here, the families for the most part have all united, as the miners have united as well. And she said that is the message here, and that is the message that each of these miners is really sharing with the world tonight and and she did say you know again using uh the you know her her strong faith to to tell her story and her message she's like jesus christ was sacrificed at the age of 33. she's like three of the initially 36 made it out of the mine before the accident happened why did those three make it out and why were 33 left behind she said those 33, she's like, that is God's way of communicating to the world this message of unity. There's so much discord. There's so much um, 
strife in the world, and, and here we have an example of how unity can bring so much happiness and success and this bond that has really become to symbolize so much more. Whether you're religious or a person of faith or not, I think you could truly agree in the moment that, that all of us feel that faith and, and that hope. And not until number 33 is out will people rest here. This is truly a moment that has touched everyone tonight. It's interesting. It, uh, when the American team got here, and started to drill, they got through in 33 days. They got through on what was day number 66 of this ordeal with 33 men down below. The number 33 plays over and over in the theme. And, uh, and, and it's not lost. It's, it, a lot of people say that is no coincidence yeah. here. You know, it's, I think it's, it's natural for people to want to grasp to find a meaning. And I think it's nice that the meaning that they find is that uh, uh, together uh, they do have faith and that they, this represents something more. And if it is the, uh, if it is the uh, spark that brings uh, Bolivia and Chile closer together, isn't that a great thing? Yeah, and whatever you believe, I think and you can, then you can't, all countries. You can't help but be moved by the, uh, what you see here, the emotion of the moment, the love that we've seen between family members, a father for a son, in that extraordinary hug uh, that we saw between the minor and, and his young son, uh, a country for uh, these 33 men and for their families, for the world who has been watching and hoping and in many cases praying for their safe recovery. Three of them have now been brought to the surface. They are in triage, they are being treated, uh, they are waiting for a larger reunion with their families and the fourth rescue about to get underway. I'm Chris Jansing here in the studio and of course on scene as they have been for so many hours now. Uh, Kerry Sanders, Natalie Morales, we're going to take a quick break and be back with more. You're watching live coverage of the rescue of 33 Chilean miners on MSNBC. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.